Dan, welcome back to um, Ahokal, Northern Ireland, and you've been here many times, but maybe not before on St. Patrick's Day. No, never been on St. Patrick's Day, so I'm kind of scared, like how wasted I will get tonight. <laughs> no. I'm sure you'll be, in, you'll be in very safe hands here. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about, uh, well, first of all, it's been a pretty busy couple of months for you. You've had the new album released, yeah. 50th birthday party in yeah. Prague. There's been a lot of things, a lot of things happening. Yeah, and then I became a father six months ago as well, so mixing all of that together has been... Uh, Tell us a little bit about that. A lot of things giving, uh, coming to birth, I guess. Um, I, I guess uh, it's probably the most, like every father or mother would say, it's been the most impactful thing that's ever happened. I always thought writing songs or playing big shows or different events that happened in my life, but it's all kind of brings everything into focus. Um, and our son Joshua, who's almost uh, seven months old now, uh, really kind of made me wake up to the fact that I, I'm no longer the most important, at least person in my life, you know, as far as taking care of myself. Now it's really about um, being humble and letting that go, and then also it gives purpose uh, to everything that I've learned in my life now to be able to pass that on instead of it just being kind of this wealth of information that you don't know where to put it. So I put it in music before, and I still hope to, but now it's like it's got the, a landing place. Yeah, the uh, response so far has been good. I think people like the fact that it's uh, a little heavier than the last album, um, production-wise and, and musical-wise. I've tried to uh, maintain the intention of the last album as far as everything has, every song has some form of, uh, I don't know, I'm playing with cliches a lot in the, in the lyrics, but I'm always also trying to use them as metaphors for something a little deeper, hopefully. Of course, the Danwood Network back together after 25 years, 25th anniversary concert back in Portland. That must have been a blast. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we didn't know what it was going to be like, so we kind of all went in there with some trepidation. But after uh, about three or four songs during the first rehearsal, we all were smiling at each other. and We didn't know how it would go over live, but then it was, it was great to see the audience uh, reacting to that music and bringing kind of all of that uh, back to life. That, what that music meant to people and to ourselves, that kind of funky dance music that had a lot of edge to it. So um, yeah, we decided we're gonna to try to do some more shows in the future for fun. That's right, and of course you're coming to the UK? Yeah, October 12th, we're playing at this, uh, it's a new festival, this will be the first annual event of this called Enchanted, 
and um, it's in Essex County, right above London. Um, it's on Saturday, October 12th, and that'll be kind of our testing ground. Where we'll do one UK show and see how that feels, and if it goes well, then maybe we'll do some more in the future. You obviously like coming here. Yeah, I love playing here. The audience is always just so exuberant. Is that the right word? Yeah, uh, and uh, really appreciative of the lyrics. Uh, I think all of uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland, they're, they're you're so you've got this wealth of great songwriters and people that actually are sitting down with acoustic guitars and writing great melodies and lyrics. I think you pride yourselves as a country uh, on that. And, to be uh, appreciated as a songwriter in the midst of all of that is uh, very humbling and a great honor.